Welcome back to another faction rating here at Pro Tabletop. I'm joined, like always, with Thomas and Damian. I can't talk right now. Today we've got Chaos Space Marines. We're going to hit Chaos for the last video of this week. And yeah, if you don't know how we're rating these, we basically have six statistics that we're calling them that we are going to be going off of. And they can score in between a 1 and a 10 on these statistics. You'll kind of hear as we talk through them what they're rating on. And that's going to give us a final score. And that final score is going to be placing it into our tier list to kind of see where they're going to fall after going fully discussing and breaking them down. So guys, without further ado, we got defense on Chaos Space Marines. Where are we going with this one? Pretty darn yeah. durable. Yeah, they're durable. I think, you know, when we talk about durability, it's not always about individually models getting killed. It has to do with, are they fast enough to move? Can they hide? Are they, you know, are they, can they redeploy? Do they have inherent you know, special rules to give them cover or extra durability? Um, they, they kind of got a lot of things. They're very similar to Space Marines, right? They got a lot of tools. Like you so. got Disco Lords and like their bubbles, you know, not being able to shoot at certain things. Obliterators are absolute nuisance to kill and really tough. Um, well, and denying, I think one of the big things is denying you being able to shoot something, being like, no, yeah. you can't shoot at this unit this yeah. time. Sorry. Here's my super killer unit that's going to do all the work. Uh, you can't shoot it. So right. how do that's... they how do they look on in bones and feel no pains where do they come up on that they have so many in bones man like everything has an in bone just about i feel like in chaos um but not that much feel no pain right like no well there... yeah no no you, no, no. you got a power basically right a second power you can give you know yeah. a unit if they have the right marks i think so it's pretty much you know they kind of only access to feel no pain and you can make stuff like minus to wound with them uh, can't you as well because isn't that like with like the possessed bonds and everything? Wouldn't they be, or they plus to wound only? Maybe it's the opposite. They just get the, they just get the plus. Yeah, it's it's more offense about them. Yeah. So they're a little bit more durable and defensible than Space Marines. So a nine, but not fully up there to a ten. Or are you guys going to say that they're a ten undefensible? No, I don't think they're a ten. I would say they're just even with Space Marines to be honest. Okay, so you yeah. think so? So we'll go with an eight then. Okay. I think they're they're an eight. It's very specific. Like they can protect one or two things, like which is similar, right? It's just. Um, I don't even know. If I, I, I don't even know if I just rate them down to a seven just because of some of that. But uh, yeah, but they're still just as tanky as Space Marines for the most part, though, right? Like yeah. except for, like cultists, like yeah, all but their stuff. That's similar to scouts. Let's be real. Yeah, they just, worse than scouts, but you know what I mean. They both just are wearing t-shirts. So, yeah. Whatever. I have scouts for the game. <laughs> <laughs> you got a uh, I knew that was gonna fend bird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Delicate senses. So <laughs> with offense on chaos, um, pretty, pretty heavy. The punch. Yeah, so they, they, that's where they're really strong, right? So with their with their offensive spells, um, with you know, because veterans of the long war, some of the stratagems, they have some really hard, heavy shooting units, right? So Tons of psychic smite outputs and mortal exactly. wound output abilities, like mm -hmm. unbelievable mm -hmm. amounts. You got yeah. you. Know, you get, you got noise marines. You got. That's what I was about to say. Is noise marines. And obliterators too. Honestly, yeah, even though they're kind so of swingy, gross. they're still yeah. like gnarly. Possessed can just munch through everything. I know they're not as as, as strong as they were. Were, but they still can just chew up stuff. Like just from a, on a pure like punch your face out. Like they got corn berserkers. Like you know, you just oh man, corn berserkers. Ooh. So, and so then, yeah. things are opposite troop units, right? Like, so double down, like they're the work units. I'm always talking about work units. Can these core objectives and still do stuff? Mm -hmm. Those guys going to push up on you and hold an objective at the same time. Like, get out of here, get out of town, right? So, I mean, we got to talk about if we're going to talk about corn berserkers, we got to talk about Red Pal a little bit. You know? <laughs> yeah, like... So, Red Pal is one of our good friends. He loves corn. He loves playing uh, chaos, especially you know. The, the and he's berserkers. made him work. He's made him work. He, he's a he's a champion of those I... guys. I'd give him a nine. I would also give him a nine. Very, very offensive. Those, those damn cast guys. Maybe even ten because of the psychic output on top of it. I don't know. So are they a ten? I I can go either way. But what's what's higher offensive output than these guys? Anything? Yeah, they're more offensive than uh, space marines. I think I think pound I think, pound. They, I think yeah. they are. I think they. Are. I'd say nine. Let's put. Do we just put them nine then? Sure. Because they have all the same tools, except they can. No, but they fire twice. Dude, they're, and dude, stuff. They're, they're, the they're, I think they're, they're ten. They're, 
I think I this think psychic they're... power pushes them to a ten. Yeah. yeah. Like the sight, the ability with mortal wound output push pushes mm. them up there. Yeah, you're right. And then plus crazy combat with like possessed, plus their crazy shooting with like noise marines or obliterators. Like you just take those units in consideration. And you're just like, yeah, like they're they're really strong at killing stuff. Yeah, they have a lot of builds that are just like built on killing, which is not what eighth edition, you know, transitioning to ninth necessarily, you know, makes them good, right? Like you don't necessarily need to kill anything, right? So that's the struggle that I see a lot of lists, even myself included. It's coming from that thing. I got to kill stuff. I got to kill stuff. I got to kill stuff. To now, like, I I don't need to kill anything. I just need to move in the yep. right place and I win. So primary, um, holding and denying the primaries. Um, <gasps> well, I'll tell you right now, they're not a nine or a ten. No, um, I think you know, outside of some specific you know units. Again, you kind of you know those work units. If they can get there and if they can do work killing. They're also kind of scoring that primary, but if you can kind of neuter those units, um, then they're, they're going to struggle, right? Because it's kind of the core of their units. They don't have units that are kind of sitting back for it's the just, most part. Yeah. Well, it's the wow. same dilemma with. Sorry, keep going, Bert. Yeah, that's it. I think, like, yeah, you might have cultists hiding in the back on an objective, but really, um, if you're playing ninth edition smart, I just kill that cult, the cultists, you know, let those noise marines run around killing stuff. And you don't score any points on the primary. I, I'm winning that game, right? So, and 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 more than that, like, just what exactly the pro- dilemma with the space marines? Like, you only have so many models, you only have so many units, and those units are trying to do work and trying to hold objectives. It gets tricky. Yeah. So, are we saying a six, a seven? I'd say I'd say six. I, I drop them down one more. Yeah. Okay. Because I think their focus on killing, you know, sometimes can put them out of position for where the sure. objectives needed. So then secondaries. Uh, they give up. They give like up. The they witch. give they give up. Yeah, bore the witch assassinate very easily. Um and it's hard to build a good chaos list without giving those up, right? You want your characters, you want your psychers, you yeah, want all of that stuff. It's tr- it's tricky, it's right, right, exactly right. You want to mix and match, so they're gonna they're gonna struggle. Um so like, I mean, there's the reason Stephen Mitchell's not playing Chaos right now. <laughs> <laughs> he has a couple of builds for, it, but yeah, absolutely. I think they've lost, they've lost quite a bit on the secondary side. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't make them a four. I think they're five. I mean, it, it's 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 not about what they can give up; it's what they can score as well, right? So if they can kill you enough on the offensive side, that would deny you secondary. So it's it's just like I'd say five is fair. They're kind of middle of the road, I think. Okay. CP farm, farm man, they eat up CP like it's their they, job. They use CP like a like it's going out of style, and heaven forbid if you like mix and max factions and you're you're starting with less just because you want to take you know. But they uh, also do have good factions. stratagems, though. They do have good stratagems. Right. So so they that. they have a positive of good stratagems, but they are very CP heavy and they are CP reliant to an extent. So that is going to score them low. Yeah, they want to those use reasons. those stats, right? And that, that, at some point, they're not going to have the resources to kind of keep that stuff going. Do they uh, they regen though, right? They do have ways to regen. Yeah, um, helm, helm of the third eye, different various things. Yeah. So uh, does that stuff just happen. kind of offset each other and put them in the middle? Because like, I feel like once they run out of those stratagems and stuff, and like they can't shoot twice, they can't do these things. Like you just start to not really be as afraid of them, right? Like you're just like, meh. You're just kind of there now. Yeah, in my mind, like if they shot twice with veterans in the long war, like two times in a row, like you you don't have a lot of stuff left that's threatening those units, mm. um, or you or vice versa, right? Like you've destroyed that unit because you can't let that do that multiple times after the first time. Right. I'm kind of on the fence, uh, five or six. I, I'd say a six, honestly, just because of the power of their stratagems. I think their stratagems do like can lend it where they. It's not even needed in late game because they've already done with it. Okay. Yeah, you should be getting one every time. So, like, if I need a veterans late game, like, I'm going to get a command point. Oh, I got veterans, right? So, I'd put them at a 10 yeah, for this flex. Yeah, I think it's pretty simple, right? They get a 10 for that. Yeah, they have a lot of tools to adjust. I think they're good. Um, again, can you fit it all in and have a winning list because of that? Maybe not, but um, they definitely can tweak if you start seeing uh, different armies go a different way. You're not stuck in one single build. Yeah, it makes total sense. So that leaves us with a hot 40 points. Ooh, right there on the cusp. Ooh. It dropped down to B. I think Ooh, we had him in A. We had him in A, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
There we go, cast dropping down. That's I mean it's almost a almost a C. I'm kind of, it's, it's it's fun to see how you know our gut checks line up with what you know this is a little bit more kind of analysis. Because well, it goes with our experience, right? Like, oh, I got wrecked by this thing. It's got to be the best. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, if you got some high tier player playing behind it, right? They can kind of shore up some weaknesses that you know uh, uh, that you don't necessarily see because they're just they're just beating your face in. So. Mm-hmm. All right, that does it for this week's ranking. Stay tuned next week for four more factions and everything. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. We'll see you next time.